And I have two studies in Metabolic Freedom, the book, that just debunk this entire SICO, calories in versus calories out, uh, method out of the gate. Meaning the first study was on the biggest loser. And we've heard Dr. Jason Funk talk about this a lot. And he's amazing. And it took, well, The Biggest Loser was a TV show here in the United States where they took these, these obese, overweight individuals, put them on a calorie deficit, had them do a lot of exercise. They lost a ton of weight, like hundreds and hundreds of pounds. They celebrated them on the final episode. This study followed up uh, with 14 of those contestants, and it showed that 13 out of the 14 gained all the way back, and a portion of them gained even more weight than when they first started the show. And it showed that they wrecked their metabolism, their levels of leptin, which is their satiety hormone, plummeted, their levels of ghrelin, which is their hunger, hunger hormone, was through the roof, and they felt awful, okay? It doesn't work long-term. This is why there's never a reunion show for the biggest loser. The second study looked at uh, fecal microbial transplants. So it's called FMT. These are where you have uh, a donor that donates their feces. I know it sounds weird, but they donate their feces, their bacteria in the gut, and it changes your bacteria. So they had two groups in the study. They were all obese individuals. One group received fecal microbial transplants from lean donors. The other group did not receive it. Both of them had the same calories. Both of them, both groups were obese, but the group that repopulated their gut bacteria with healthy gut bacteria started to lose weight because the gut microbiome plays a role in weight loss as well. So just simply telling somebody to eat less and move more to lose weight, it's like telling somebody who wants to be rich, just spend less than you earn. Okay, that makes sense, but what's the solution, right? So we need to detach from this calories in versus calories out model and focus instead on hormones and inflammation.